our home's garden beds are being run over with Italian arum. The previous owner planted it and it has found its way into multiple beds and I'm losing the war. Oh, no. How do I remove Italian arum successfully? I've spent days trying to dig it out by hand and it only seems to make problems worse the next season. I am looking into herbicides that might work, although I remain hesitant to spray the worst areas, which also have azaleas and mature oaks in the same soil. Please warn others to not plant this bully of an invasive species. Oh, wow. Never, <laughs> never. And this is from Jesse. So how do you remove Italian arum successfully? And you and I actually have a little experience yeah, with this, right? Yeah. Right, so go ahead. Well, I had some hosta, mm -hmm. there were some hosta plants, and there was weeds underneath them, and I didn't want to spray herbicide, right. but I, the, I also couldn't just keep, because there was a whole bunch of them, I just couldn't keep pulling them, it was not working. Okay. So I got some uh, glyphosate mm -hmm. and mixed it up in a pail, put it on some gloves, got a sponge, and went underneath the hosta mm -hmm. and sponge the herbicide onto the weeds and it killed them and didn't hurt the hosta at all. And it actually killed? It killed the weed, yeah. The Italian arrow. How about that? It has a waxy cuticle though. Yeah. Very waxy cuticle. And if so you, it might be repeated. I mean, she may have be. to do to repeat. Oh, you got, it's going to be repeat application. There's no doubt about that. And if you try to, you know, dig it up, of course, by hand mm -hmm. and you don't get all of the stem and the tubers. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's just it's coming back. Well, it's, it's just like, back. yeah, like the Bermuda grass It's every little <laughs> growth point, you know, mm -hmm. it's going to come back with mm -hmm. that. It's going to come back. This is what I did. Um, I actually cut the stem and then same method, you know, with the gloves, dipped it in a uh, glyphosate product and actually wiped the, the rest of the stem. Mm -hmm. It slowed it down. Yeah. Now, it was multiple applications before I actually knocked it out, mm -hmm. uh, but it does work. Now, this was a small patch. You know, right. I don't know how big this patch is. I think it's a pretty big patch here, mm -hmm. uh, which means it's going to be a lot more work. But it yeah. can be done successfully over time, though. And what she's trying to, have to try to do is knock down, you know, as it comes back, knock it down as quickly as possible to get rid of the carbohydrate reserves in right. those roots. Right, which is the key. So that they don't keep coming up. Right, because the carbohydrates are in the tuber. It's in the tuber. Right, it's in the tuber, right, which is why it keeps growing back. We hope you love the video. We would love for you to ask more questions. Be sure to leave those questions in your comments.